What hell darkness? Your room is ready, child. Enjoy your stay! <laughs> Hello again. Since you were down here last, things have changed a bit. Too many guests were running away. It would appear that some of the naughty children were scared of me. I can't think why. <laughs> Was it the way I dried my hands on the back of their hair, I wonder? Or the funny little habit I have of clearing my throat onto my guests' toothbrushes? Whatever I might have done, I apologise. And now that you have no more reason to fear me, you can stay. Here's your toothbrush. <laughs> and I'll book you in for eternity. <laughs> this is Josiah's story. I call it the Dragon Moth. Josiah Reeks never did anything his father said because his father was a sign painter and Josiah hated signs. Ow! They stopped him doing what he wanted to do. So, he always went into school through the gate marked girls. Get out! You're not a girl! You've got a wiggler and you make our lovely entrance gate smell like a dustbin! After school, he always ignored the sign that said, Children must wait here until their parents pick them up. Which is why the headmistress chained him to the wall like a dog. And at home, he ignored the warning on the label that said, Do not pick your nose after handling glue. I think I can feel my brain. His parents begged him to stop disobeying signs. There was a time when you loved my signs. I used to read them to you as bedtime stories. And what classics they were, Father. Who can ever forget Take Care Slippery Pavement? And my particular favourite, Danger Men at Work. Don't be horrid to your father. Signs are there to keep you safe. Ignore them at your peril. OK, if signs are there to protect me, that means dragons must exist. What do you mean? Well, at school today, old Nudger Nicholson said that down on the cliffs at the end of the world, there's a lighthouse, and on that lighthouse is a sign that says, Here be dragons. That's one sign I'd like to see. That is one sign you will never see. Why, are you scared there might really be dragons up there? Two children went missing last year. Both had gone to the lighthouse. They trawled the sea for the bodies, but found nothing. You're just saying that to scare me. I don't believe you. You don't have to. For once, you just have to do as you're told. But of course, Josiah never did as he was told. And being told not to go to the lighthouse simply fueled his desire to get there. Especially when he woke up in the middle of the night to find a freshly painted sign on the end of his bed. Do not go to the lighthouse. Right, to the lighthouse. There was only one way to reach the end of the world in the dark. Ignoring the warning signs, electricity kills and danger trains. Josiah followed the glint of the moon on the railway tracks. It led him to a field where the deserted lighthouse glowed white like a boiled bone. As Josiah pushed past the no entry sign, he noticed that the building was covered in graffiti. Come no closer! Go home! Be gone! And each warning was followed by the most terrifying word of all, Josiah. Huh? Whatever it was inside the lighthouse that didn't want him there knew his name. Any normal person would have turned and run, but Josiah always did the opposite. 
As the latch clicked, there was a noise from inside the lighthouse like the throbbing din of rotor blades. Then the light at the top of the lighthouse came on, and there, hanging over his head, the sign, Here Be Dragons! And there, the shadows stretched across the sea. The beast was awake in its lair. Maybe I will go home after all. But even as he turned to flee, the door crashed open. The dragon! And the tiny little moth flew out. Ha ha ha! What a cast iron fool I am. That big flapping shadow wasn't a dragon at all. It was an itty bitty moth fluttering in front of the lighthouse's light. I know what all these warning signs are. They've been put there by smugglers. What better way to keep snoopers off their hidden gold than by telling them there's a dragon living here? Ha! Josiah thought he was the cleverest boy in the world. Until he heard a voice calling his name. Josiah Reeks. Josiah Reeks. I am the Dragon Master. The dragon performs at my will. Be gone, young warrior, and I shall keep the beast at bay. <laughs> get lost. I know what you're up to. You're the smuggler trying to get rid of me so you can stash some more booty. When the dragon is hungry, I can hold it no longer. Leave now. Obey my signs and you will be spared. <laughs> I'm not going until I've seen inside. Keep your voice down. It can hear you. I don't believe you. You're a smuggler. Oh, all right. You win. I'm not really the Dragon Master. I'm the Dragon Slave, empowered to find it food whenever it wakes. I'm still not scared. You woke it when you barged in past the no-entry sign. Now it's angry and wants to spill your blood. Go home. Save your skin. Really? Well, there's one way of finding out if you're telling the truth. Dragon, if you really exist, come out and face me. You see? Nothing. Why are you smiling? Because you're so predictable. Predictable? I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. I am the Dragon Slave with orders to feed him. That's why I painted all these signs to catch disobedient children like you, Josiah, to lure you to the lighthouse as food for my master. You mean the dragon really exists? Not a dragon, no, but a dragon moth. A colossus of a bug nurtured these last ten years by that brilliant light grown big by the warmth of the lighthouse's bulb. You mean you only told me to flee because you knew I would stay? <laughs> Bullseye! You always do the opposite of what you're asked. And now that you're still here and not at home, where any sensible person would be, dinner can begin! <laughs> As the dragon moth lumbered into the sky, Josiah suddenly wished that he had paid heed to the warning signs. But it was far too late for that. The dragon moth lifted Josiah into the air, carried him off to the end of the world, and dropped him onto the rocks like a clamshell. <laughs> if only a sign had said, stay here and get eaten by a dragon moth, Josiah Reeks would still be alive today. Do you do the opposite of what you're told? Would you make a delicious meal for the dragon moth? Read this sign and we'll find out. Go on. Do not read this sign. Oops. Something tells me you'd make a perfect meal. Go take a bath in garlic butter. <laughs>